I got Katie with me today and we're headed out to do the last herring survey of the season for Hobart Bay. It was really nice really early this morning and Katie wanted to get an early start but by the time we got down there and got started the fog was just starting to roll in here to Petersburg. It was still plenty flyable so I went ahead and taxied out to warm the airplane up and we're going to take off. I'm going to climb on top of the fog here and again it's perfectly safe because I can see down through it and I know my way around here. So anyway we're going to take off here and head up north to Hobart Bay and do a little herring surveys. I've climbed up to about 1,500 feet here on top of the undercast in the fog. Uh, the overcast above us is about six, 7,000 feet. So visibility is good between here and I can see down through in paces here. I know the weather is better than where we're going. FAA has cameras in several different spots that you can look at on the internet and I've looked at the cameras and, and looked at all the weather stations and stuff and I know the weather is better where we're going than it is here. We got over here to Farragut Bay and we could tell there had been fish spawning down there in between our last flight and this one. There's a big increase in the number of sea lions and the number of whales and birds and stuff like that around there. But you really couldn't tell anything. Uh, we could see down through the fog here, but the wind had been blowing out of the southeast for several days and the waves going up against that shoreline had stirred it up to the point where you couldn't see anything in the water. The south shore of Port Hooton right now 
in a few days there's going to be a shrimp fishery up here and Katie and Lindsay are going to be up here to manage the shrimp fishery. There's a little cabin in a bay right back there that uh, Katie had me fly over to see if there's anybody staying in it so sure and Lindsay can stay in it when they come up here to manage the shrimp fishery. It didn't look like we were going to be able to see anything when we got over here to this north shoreline of Port Hooton. But once we got over here, the clouds parted and the sun shined. Well, no, the sun didn't shine, but the clouds parted enough that we could fly along this shoreline and, and look for fish here. We had uh, just the right altitude and and uh, the clouds were just away from the shoreline far enough. We get just far enough off the shore we could see real good. and So everything turned out real good for looking for fish, except for the fish. We got up here to Wyndham Bay and normally this is where we turn around and go back and head back towards Petersburg. But we had a text from Juno requesting that we go over to Seymour Canal and do a herring survey over there for them. So we're going to head to the northwest here and uh, cross Stevens Passage over towards Point Hugh and then go on up into Seymour Canal and uh, around that area looking for herring. Coming up on Point League now just north of Wyndham Bay. This is the northeast corner of the Petersburg Management District for fisheries. About uh, 70 miles south of us to Petersburg and about 40-50 miles north of us to Juneau. about halfway across Stevens Passage here now. I'm aiming for a point on the Glass Peninsula about uh, three or four miles north of Point Hugh on the Stevens Passage side and then we're going to turn and come back to the south along that shoreline around Point Hugh and then up into Seymour Canal.
Well, we just came around Point Hugh, did a little circle there around some whales and a little bit of herring that we saw in a little bite right there. And we're going to continue on up into Seymour Canal along the Glass Peninsula shoreline up there just about as far as you can see. Uh, it's a little spit called Sore Finger, Sore Thumb up there. And then we're going to cross over on the other side and follow the other shoreline down, the Admiralty Island shoreline. So the sun is behind us and to the right and ordinarily it'd be better to be looking out this side the left side of the airplane down into the water but it's pretty steep mountains right there and there's a little breeze blowing you can't really see it on the water but there's enough of a breeze blowing there to be quite a bit of turbulence if I get too close to that hillside there where it's really steep and Katie is with me and she is susceptible to air sickness so I'll pull out here a little ways offshore and we'll look out the right side as we go along this shoreline here looking for fish Oh, coming up on sore finger here just right underneath the nose and sore thumb up above that we're going to go up here just a little bit farther looking for herring maybe another mile or two but that's about it uh, Seymour Canal goes up here quite a bit farther and then there's a real narrow isthmus up there that separates it from uh, Stevens Passage and Lynn Canal and there's actually a little railroad right there where people will bring their skiffs and boats out of Juneau, load it up on the little railroad, and then bring it across over here into Seymour Canal and keep out of the big water. Now we've crossed over to the Admiralty Island shoreline on the west side of Seymour Canal. It's Mole Harbor disappearing under the cowling on the right. And we're going to head down south down uh, Admiralty Island shoreline to Gambier Bay and just keep looking for herring. Coming along the lower end of the Big Bend now, the Gambier Bay showing up just over the top of the nose on the right. A little inlet there just right in front of the prop spinner is called Last Chance. That's the north arm of Gambier Bay. Uh, this comes down towards uh, Gambier Point and Gambier Island where we saw the herring spawn in the other day where we stopped and took the samples. And we're starting to see herring schools here now. Some pretty nice herring schools and, and some other activity, sea lions and whales and whatnot. Gambier Point ahead of us in Gambier Island just past that that's where all this herring spawn activity was uh, a few days ago where we stopped took the samples and we get up there there's nothing there but if you look just right in front of the uh, nose of the floats right now just a point coming up we started seeing some spawn along here it's not real heavy spawn but there was fish in there and there was uh, active spawn going on you say it's just just coming up kind of under the nose right now. You can just see the white on the shoreline right there.
We're going to swing around here and we'll get a good look up into Gambier Bay. And this area right here underneath us is where all the spawn activity was a few days ago. And there is hardly any sign of it there now. Unless you knew what you were looking at, you would never know there was any spawn there. Now we're looking back up into Seymour Canal. They're kind of on the left side, Point Hugh dead center. And uh, Stevens Passage on the right of Point Hugh. Now we're going down the Admiralty shoreline here south of uh, Gambier Bay. That's uh, False Point Pibus just ahead of us. Oh, we're going to head back for town now. We're going to cross uh, Stevens Passage again and head back for Petersburg. <laughs> 